Hello dear parents and students this video is intended to help you master the preparation for the 12th board chemistry cbsc examination and to overcome the pressure that comes along if you are watching this video and you are preparing for the board examination here are a few tips and tricks seeing the board timetable down the year the chemistry paper has always been the third paper and an average of 3 days has been given for the preparation time this is how you can make most of the time the main syllabus can be divided into three different groups or categories first is content based topics that are very lengthy and elaborate and those topics which are short and small topics that are lengthy and elaborate are like electrochemistry p block elements solid state solutions solid state and shorter topics or smaller topics like everyday life polymers extraction and oats etc the second category is question based in the question based there are certain topics that are only theoretical questions are asked in some topics both theoretical as well as numerical questions are asked and the third type in organic chemistry where conceptual questions including totally theory based on the basis of the concept here are a few important questions that i would topics and questions that i would like to list that have been asked down the years starting with organic chemistry we shall start the preparation with amines and nitrogen substituted organic compounds followed by phenols and ethers alcohols allo haloalkanes and haloarenes aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids the questions normally asked in these topics are name reactions distinguishing tests conversions and reasoning questions mostly i would advise you to refer to the previous years question papers in these topics In electrochemistry the theoretical questions that can be mainly asked are electrolytic and molar conductivity their variation with concentration cold rushes law and complete study of batteries and fuel cells the numericals can be asked on molar conductivity emf based questions on nernst equations nernst equation and equilibrium constant and numericals on cold rushes law in solutions The theoretical questions are on Henry's law and its applications, Raoult's law, ideal and non-ideal solutions, azeotropic mixtures and reasoning questions on colligative properties. Numericals are asked on concentration to calculate colligative properties like delta Tf, delta Tv, osmotic pressure, Van't Hoff factor, molecular mass, etc. In chemical kinetics the theoretical questions are on order and molecularity of a reaction interpretation of the graphs for various order reactions of zero and first order derivations for the integrated rate equation numericals based on rate of a reaction calculation of rate constant half life period calculation of activation energy based on arrhenius equation in d and f block elements Questions are based on the reasoning on the physical and chemical properties of the d-block elements, lanthanoids and actinoid contractions, and the properties of lanthanoids and actinoids, and important preparation and properties of potassium permanganate and potassium dichromate. In solid state, we have questions on crystal defects, electrical and magnetic properties, derivations on packing fractions, numericals based on density. molecular mass avogadro number radius of the atom and calculation of the nature of the crystal type in p block elements we have to learn the various equations the different structures complete the following for the equations structures of the oxo acids of phosphorus sulfur chlorine and all the structures given in ncert of the compounds of noble gases in coordination compounds we have to study the nomenclature of the coordination complexes questions are asked on isomerism valence bond theory and crystal field theory in biomolecules 
a complete equation based on the elucidation of the structure of the molecule of glucose, disaccharide, amino acids, protein, nucleic acids, vitamins. In vitamins, every year the questions are asked either on the deficiency diseases or the sources of the various vitamins. Surface chemistry should be studied completely, everyday life, polymers and extraction should be thoroughly studied from NCRT. Here are a few very important tips that I would like to give to each one of you just before the board examination. Please have a very sound sleep on the previous night. On the day of the exam, be very confident, do not feel weak or nervous. Do not talk or discuss any question with anybody just before your examination. A thorough study of your NCRT textbook will definitely ensure you 10% marks in the board examination and a top score in your JE mains examination. All the best my dear children. If you like my video, please like, share this video and subscribe the channel. Thank you. God bless you.